is my hair doing? I don't know, you tell me. Hey everyone, it's Brittany Balin and I am super excited because I am finally making this makeup tutorial. I wore this look in my winter essentials and all the comments were, how did you do that look? And I posted a ton of Instagram pictures on this and again, everyone wanted to see it. So I finally got around to making it. It hasn't been too long, I think it's only been a week, but I love this look and I think it would be perfect for the holidays or New Year's because it's sparkly yet wearable and it looks good in pictures. Promise me that. Or promise you that. I promise you that. I hope you like it. I'm not going to talk too long because I feel like this might be a long tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. If you like this, subscribe. I'm totally making my outro right now. You know what? I'll, I'll say that at the end. I'll see you soon. Taking the Naked Basics palette, I'm going to use the... Naked number two color and put that with a fluffy brush in my crease. This will be a nice transition color and we're just going to put it in the crease and blend up. Oh, with the color As If from ColourPop and a more defined crease brush, I'm going to work this color into the crease and keep building it up. You're going to want to lie this straight into the crease and Start working it in, windshield wiper motions, and then also what you're going to want to do is then start from the inner corner, so you're concentrating more product here, and working it. And just keep repeating until you get a good amount of color in there. Now using the color Melrose from ColourPop, which is a more warm brown, almost red color, I'm going to work that into the crease with the same brush, and this will help to Add more warmth and define and blend. This is not some color. So go light and keep building up the color. That's very important. Now comes the fun part. I'm going to be using Lit Cosmetics Glitter in Monroe, Marilyn Monroe number two and their glitter base glue, which is amazing. This like makes everything so much easier. And you can use any glitter really with this glue. It doesn't have to be their glue, it works with anything. What I like to do is kind of put a little bit on my finger and then I have to go quick with this. I'm gonna dab it on my lid. And don't, you know, bring it up to the crease or anything. So this is just the glue. Dabbing this all over. And before it dries, I dip my finger in the glitter and then I just pat that on. Next, taking my Kat Von D eyeliner in Trooper going to do a winged line and some people like to do this before the glitter I tend to go after and just do like a couple of good solid lines because it can be like a little weird with the with the glitter. Just start with the wing like so and then I'm just going to bring that down like this and then I'll just fill this in and bring it over here, which this is hard to do on camera. Fill that bad boy in. Using some Ardell Wispies, I'm going to apply some false lashes. For lashes, I'm using Ardell Wispies. And let's pop these on in one try, guys. One try. Wow, I should say that every time. I apply lashes. Oh my god guys, I'm really trying to hold it together, but I just dropped my camera on the floor and I'm really worried that it's not gonna work because I just did that a couple weeks ago and I had to buy this camera because the other one broke. And it looks like it's working, just please, why am I the most clumsy person in the world? Okay, let's move on to the face. We're gonna come back to the eyes. <sighs> I'm going to prime my face with the Marc Jacobs Invisible Undercover primer and I like this one because it's really moisturizing and I'm going to smother my face with it. Ooh, yes. So into this. Down the neck, why don't ya? Boom! Naked concealer underneath the eyes. I am in the shade light and we're going to do triangle. Yeah. And blending with a slightly damp, probably could be more damp than this, Beauty Blender. Using the Clinique Even Better Foundation in shade Buff, I am going to damp you a little bit more Beauty Blender. More! And you guessed it, bounce that foundation in. 
taking As If from ColourPop, one of the colors we use in the crease. We're also gonna be using Melrose, but this one first. On a pencil brush, we're going to start working underneath the eyes now that we've concealed. And yeah, just a little bit on the outside. Why is this turning out so red? Did I pick up, I picked up the wrong color. Cool. All right, well, we ended up doing Melrose first, which was not my intention, but we'll still make it work. Now I'm gonna find a different brush, take as if, and blend out Melrose. We are going to mascara, top and bottom. Top to blend the falsies, and I am just showing you my mirror. Sorry about that, guys. Thought you should look at yourself. You're looking good. Woo, my eyes. My eyes need a break. Going to warm up my face with MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark. And, well, I guess I'm using the V-Finder as my mirror. I hope that's not too much. Down to contour, I'm using Hula Benefit Bronzer. Benefit Hula Bronzer. All the same words, just different order. Tomato, tomato. And a contour brush from Sephora. Um, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. For blush, I'm using the Clinique Melon Pop Cheek Pop Blush Pop. I could have just said blush. What am I doing? Leaf Blower Eye is really working it today. It's doing great things. Just stop. For a highlight, I'm using Becca Moonstone, and I'm going to pop this on, yes, do it again, yes, so satisfying. For the lips, I'm using ColourPop Trap, that's what I wore on my Instagram, I feel like this would look really good with red lips though, too. And we are done, I hope that you enjoy the finished look. Let me give you a close up, let me come closer. Here is the finished look. If you have any questions, as I was saying in the beginning, please leave them in the comments down below and I will try my best to get back to everyone. If you are curious about any of the products I use, I will leave them in the description as always. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you have any requests, please request them. And I look forward to seeing you guys again. And we'll see you soon. Bye!